as a police service and as a city, we have a lot more we can do to try and reduce the number of impaired drivers on our streets. Public assistance in reporting can help further deter drunk driving, and that's something that we as a police service wholeheartedly encourage for the citizens of Saskatoon. What does an impaired driver look like to somebody else on the road? Well, typically the first thing people are going to notice is a vehicle uh, making sudden movements uh, side to side. Uh, they may be sitting through a red light, they may be speeding. Certainly there's all sorts of ways to describe erratic driving. So those are mainly the symptoms that we would look for. Going back to May of this year from the spring of 2010, in total we've uh, received just over 6,000 phone calls from the public where they've reported the suspicion, the suspicion of impaired driving. Um, of those 6,000 phone calls, we've laid charges in 324 of those cases. And we've sent out letters to registered owners in roughly 2,200 cases as well. So there's been a lot of phone calls that have come into the police service and there's been a lot of follow-up as well. Mm -hmm. How do you know if the program's working? What, what is a measure of success for you? Well, I think anytime you can get somebody off of the road who is impaired, it's a success. So every time, every time we get a call from the public, we can't guarantee that we're going to be able to respond immediately. Mm -hmm. But in those cases where we are available to respond and we do find the, uh, the vehicle that's been reported, to me it's a success.